Hi guys. Urban fucking hill reveal. Um, going to be reviewing a beer from the Gun Brewery, Scaramanga Pale Ale. Uh, gluten free Pale Ale, based in a uh, Sussex brewery, uh, Gun Gun Brewery. Uh, .co .uk. 3.9%, so not a massive one. Um, it says this refreshing Pale Ale pairs the palest of malts with Sussex spring water and an avalanche of an American hops. Hops give a vibrant, zesty nose and a refreshing citrus finish. So, sounds right up my alley. Um, just want to say a big shout out to all the guys who've been uh, asking me to come back. Uh, there's, um, there's so many of them. I need to write a little list down of all of them. Um, but I genuinely appreciate it. So, like I say, I've had some health problems and, you know, just got to crack on, ain't you? So, let's get, this, let's get this beer going. It's a lovely hot day. Look at that, boy. I've missed this. I haven't really been drinking since I've stopped the reviews, so it's nice to um, to get back to it. So there you go, nice golden colour, nice little tiny white head, looking lovely and pretty. Let's give it a sniff. Oh, I've missed that. So yeah, very clean and zesty, very fresh smelling. Um, you're getting those uh, oranges and lemons, you know, very bright white fruits, like grapefruit and stuff like that. Um, you're getting that nice little edgy bitterness on the nose. Um, I've got exactly a, a good idea of how this is going to taste. Um, 3.9% sounds good. And I'm, I'm excited to try that um, Sussex water because the water is really nice and naturally soft down here. So cheers, guys. Mmm, that is refreshing. The initial taste is almost like um, just like a nice clean craft lager, um, like something like um, Shahalian from Harveston, something like that. Um, very, very nice, soft on the on the palate as well. Very crisp and refreshing. Um, not very citrusy. I thought it would be a little bit more, but. Um, it's like a nice clean wash over your tongue, what, like what you want from a nice uh, sort of summer beer. But then as you leave it to sort of mellow on your tongue, or the aftertaste, then that sort of um, earthy, well not very earthy, but slightly earthy bitterness comes in, creeps up around the back of the tongue, gives it a bit of a grip, and um, just tastes really refreshing. And then you get a nice little sweetness on the top of your lip as well, right at the top of the base. Top of your mouth and the base, sort of combined. Lovely. Hmm. Second, second gulp. You definitely get that bitterness. Not huge, but very, very refreshing. This would be a great beer for someone who's never really tried craft beer, and you know, prefers their Fosters and stuff like that. It's not too dramatic a change. Do you know what I mean? So. God, it's sweltering out here. I'll tell you what, it's right burning up my back. I'm like a really crap vampire, my skin. Thanks to my mum, I've got Irish skin, and I? So, but anyway, um, yeah, I mean, a score-wise out of 10, I'd probably give that about a six and a half, seven. It's nothing I've never tasted before, but it's a nice little gateway beer. So, yeah, if you see it, give it a grab. I've got this one from Flavorly. Um, I've got my little Flavorly glass there as well. And um, yeah, I'm excited to tr start reviewing again. So thanks, guys, and I'll see you again soon. Cheers.